Hi, I'm Nikki B, and welcome to my full body kettlebell workout today. We're going to work hard for just over 30 minutes, then we're going to work the entire body. We're going to work in sets, so we have eight sets in total, two exercises per set. You'll work each of the two exercises for 45 seconds. You get a 15 second rest in between each exercise. You repeat them through twice, and then we go on to the next set. So it's quite full on. If you need extra break, breaks, please press pause and then continue. Okay, make sure that you've warmed up before you start, either the warm-up of my channel, the warm-up of your choice. Weight-wise, that will depend on your fitness and strength level. I've got a couple of uh, kettlebells here just so that I can vary the weight. You can also incorporate and use a dumbbell if you don't have kettlebells. Okay, make sure that you've got a drink and a towel to hand. The towel, just in case you get sweaty, you need a good grip on that kettlebell. Okay, let's hit the timer and get straight into it. First one we have curtsy lunges. Toes facing forwards, we're going to go to the side, centre, past that kettlebell and then to the other side. Okay, so starting with the kettlebell in that right hand. Off we go. So, those toes are facing forwards. Brilliant. Excellent. swing so just to recap so hinge at that hip we're not squatting come down get that momentum thrust those hips forwards are you ready so come down get that momentum up we come so squeezing those glutes that bottom driving those hips forwards that core is engaged that back is nice and straight Brilliant. Wonderful. Give me ten more seconds. Whew. And relax. Okay. Place that kettlebell down. Exactly the same. So we're going to begin with kettlebells, sorry, kettlebells, curtsy lunges. Once more. So take that kettlebell in the right hand, toes facing forwards. Off we go. So pass that kettlebell as you come up. Fantastic. Ten seconds, and we're going to go back to that swing after. And relax, place that kettlebell down between our feet. So we're going back to that double arm swing. And then after this one, we'll go on to the next two exercises. Are you ready? Let's get that momentum ready. Up you come. So most of the work here is being led by the lower body. Really squeeze those glutes, that bottom. Whew. Almost there. And 
and relax. Okay, next two exercises. So the first one we've got reverse lunge, press. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, press. Okay, so two lunges to one press. Off we go. Nice big step back. Make sure you've got that nice knee alignment in that front knee. Wonderful. Five. Okay, we're going back to swing, but we're doing alternating arms this time. So you're gonna come down, you're gonna come up, and when you're ready, switch. Okay, alternating those hands. So let's get that momentum. Make sure you've got a good grip of that kettlebell. Those hands aren't sweaty. And the same principles. We're hinging at the hip and we're thrusting those hips forwards. We've got quite a few kettlebell swings. Great exercise. Working multiple muscles at the same time. And relax. I'm just going to open my door a little bit more. That's it, warm already. Let's go back to those lunges. So, two reverse lunge to one press. And press. to that alternating kettlebell swing. Okay, in five. Let's come down, get that momentum. Off we go. And then when you're ready, switch. And relax, okay. Next two exercises. So we're gonna go for the single leg deadlift to begin. Coming down, picking up that kettlebell with the right hand, and that right leg goes back. Are you ready? So, come down, pick that kettlebell up. And up. Nice and controlled, that core is engaged. Okay, 
Okay, going back to the double arm swing, but we're walking this time. So you're going to come up, you're going to get that momentum, and you're going to step forward and back. Forward and back. Ready? So if you don't feel comfortable, just go with the double arm swing again. So forwards and back. It's almost like a travelling swing. You've got it, well done. Got a little bit more challenging on that core. Keep that back nice and straight. Squeeze that bottom. Whew. Place that down. Okay, we're going to that left leg now for the kettlebell single leg deadlift. We're going to pick it up with our left hand and our left leg is going back. Ready, then come down and up. Up, nice and controlled. Wonderful. You're doing brilliantly. Okay, we're going back to those swings, the walking swings. In five. So let's get that momentum. Up we come. Squeeze, thrust those hips forwards. We have another set after this, which incorporates a swing, and then we finish with swings. We're going back to a deadlift, but we're doing two leg deadlift this time. Okay, so we're going to hinge at that hip and we're going to come up to a row. So down, row. Ready? That kettlebell stays nice and close to those legs and pull that kettlebell up under that chin. Okay, we're not squatting. Those knees are soft. Excellent. Squeeze as you stand up. Squeeze that bottom. Whew. Okay, so last of the swings. We're doing single arm swing this time. So we're going to get that momentum and we're going to lead with the right. I will call out halfway and you'll switch to the left. Okay? So let's get that momentum. Make sure that you've got a good grip. And again, if you don't feel comfortable with the single arm, go to the alternating switch or double arm. That's it. Nice and controlled. Give me one more. And switch. So now lead him with the left hand. Excellent. Whew. 
and place that kettlebell down. Give that a quick twist, a shake, and we're going to go back to that deadlift to high pull. Ready? So remember, we're hinging at that hip, so that bottom's going back. You're doing great. It's quite challenging with all these swings. Working you hard. Okay, get ready. This is the last swing of the workout. So we're going back to that single arm. Are you ready? In five. So let's come down, let's get that momentum to start. And up we come. Let's squeeze those glutes. Back nice and straight. Superb. Okay, make this your last one and switch. So lead with the other hand. Right to the end. Whew. Okay, we are going to do the squat. So we're taking the kettlebell by the handles, we're holding it in front of our chest, and we are squatting down, standing up. So toes facing forwards. Come down, those knees are following those toes. That back is nice and straight. And you're coming down nice and low. Squeezing that bottom, those glutes, on the way up. Excellent. Fifteen seconds. Whew. Okay, we're going to bend over row. So we're taking the kettlebell in that right hand, step forward with the left, lean forward, back straight, bring that elbow to the ceiling with that row action. So lean forwards, that arm is staying nice and close to the body and we've got a slight squeeze at the top in that shoulder. Well done. Make sure it's nice and controlled on the up and the downward movement. You're working just as hard on that downward movement, so make sure it's controlled. We'll do the left side on the second round. Okay, give me 10 more seconds. Oh, that was challenging. Okay, give those arms a shake. We're gonna go back to that squat. Are you ready? I'm fine. Let's pick up that kettlebell ready. So, toes facing forwards, knees following. Those knees aren't going in. And they're coming down nice and low. That back is straight and that chest is up. Okay, 15 more seconds. Okay, so, 
over we go. Bent over row, the left hand this time. So you're taking the kettlebell on that left arm, and that right leg is forwards. Back, 45 degrees. Angle, nice and straight. Up we go. So elbow going towards that ceiling. Make sure that you're not twisting as you go. Fantastic. Go nice and controlled. One, two, one, two. Ten seconds. Okay, so we're going to the clean and press. So this one's almost like a single arm swing into that rack position, wrist straight, handle in line with the shoulder, resting on the forearm, and then we're pressing up. We're just going for the cleans to begin, okay? So bring it up nice and close to the body into that rack position. Excellent. Check that wrist is straight. Okay, on the next one, you're gonna go up, press up to the ceiling, hand lower, into that wrap position. Make sure that arm is touching that ear on the way up. Superb. Okay, we well, have got around the world. So this one, feet just a bit wider than shoulder width apart, and you're going to pass that kettlebell around the body. Okay, that core nice and engaged. You're not wibbling around. So, all in one direction, I will call out when to swap. Make sure it's nice and controlled. That's it. Core is nice and strong. Okay, give me one more and we're going to pause and go back in the opposite direction. Okay, make sure you've got a good grip of that kettlebell. I have dropped it before and it does make a huge bang. Okay, so we're going back to that clean and press, but this time we'll work in the left side. So into that rack position, and then we're going to press, but we're just starting with the clean to begin. Are you ready? So almost like I say that single swing up into that rack position. Check that wrist is nice and straight, and that kettlebell is rested on that forearm. That handle is in line with the shoulder. Okay, on the next one, we're gonna go up to a press. So press and lower. Nice and strong, press to the ceiling. Back to that rack position before you come down. Again, that kettlebell is staying close to that body. It's not swinging out on the up or down movement. Okay, place that down. We're going back to that around the world. So again, feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Just take that kettlebell. Off we go. So that core is engaged. Nice and strong. And last one, pause and back in the opposite direction. Ten seconds. Okay, relax. 
The next two exercises, taking the kettlebell by the hand or the bell facing the floor. We're coming up to a curl and then we're going into a halo. Back and down. So curl to halo. Those elbows are tucked into our side on that curl. Our back is nice and straight. With that halo, you can alternate the way in which you go round your directions. Make sure that you're controlling that curl. Fantastic. All the way around that head. 10 seconds. Okay, we're going down to the floor for this one. We've got plank pass through. So the plank either on your knees or up on your toes. And you're just going to pass that kettlebell through to the outside of the other hand. If you're in the upright plank position, have those feet about hip width apart. It will help with that stability. Keep that core engaged. Try not to have too much movement. And just drag pass that kettlebell through. Make sure that those wrists are under those shoulders. Fabulous. Another challenging exercise. Okay, up you come. We're going back to that curl to halo. Last round. And then we're going down. Although we've worked our core throughout, we're going to do more ab core specific exercises. So, curl, halo. Back straight. His elbows are tucked into the side. Fifteen seconds. Whew. Okay, we're going back to that plank pass through. So remember, you can be on your knees or up on your toes. Are you ready? In five. So if you're up on your toes, I have my feet. Up. A little bit spread just to give you more stability and then pass that kettlebell through. Really engaging that core. Fantastic. It doesn't need to be quick. Okay, we're going down to the floor now for some ab work. We've got Russian twist to begin. So taking the kettlebell by the handle, lean slightly back, nice straight back, and we're going side to side. Okay, now you can do this with or without a weight. So lean slightly back, back straight. Follow that kettlebell around. You can increase this further by lifting those feet off the ground. This kettlebell weight is quite challenging for me for a Russian twist, so my feet are staying down. Wonderful. Okay. 
we have got extended crunch. So we're in this position, you're coming in and extend. In and extend. Okay. This is tough. So if you need to, drop the weight and take a break and rejoin if you need to. Okay? Break it down. Do three or four, pause and carry on. Wonderful. Okay, so this is the only set of where it's going to differ. We've got another two different exercises. To take that kettlebell up, we're going to go for leg lowers. Now make sure that back stays further than on the ground. As soon as it arches, bring that leg back up. Okay, you can add a double one in here as well, depending on your level. If your back is arching too much, bend those knees. Okay, and come down like so. We have sit up press. Now, if this is challenging, just come up to crunches, okay? Or again, drop that weight. Are you ready? So you're coming up and press, lowering it down slowly, nice and controlled. Reach to that ceiling. This is your last piece of work. So if you put that kettlebell down and give yourselves a clap, well done. I hope you've enjoyed that, you've worked hard, that was, that was tough going, particularly with all those swings at the beginning. Okay, make sure that you cool down now, either a cool down on my channel or a cool down stretch of your choice. Continue to get those fluids in. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.